I'm going to share with you Goldie's 10 life coaching tips for healthy communication. Number one, before reacting, always believe the best before the worst and do not be too quick to judge. Number two, never assume you know what the other person is thinking or feeling. Be a fact checker. Ask so that you know exactly what they're thinking. Number three, always keep short accounts. It's much easier to clean up small messes than big ones. In other words, empty your garbage regularly so it doesn't stink. Number four, use the I message. Open gestures, open gestures, not like this, okay? And, and good eye contact because then the other person feels like you're really listening and you're really communicating and never use the you message. You make me so mad. You never do this. You always do that. Always speak from the I message. I feel it's important to me and you will find that communication goes so much better. Number five, be very specific and clear in your communication. What do you need, want, or expect from the other person? They don't know, they can't read your mind. So it's very important to say to them, what I would really appreciate is if you talk to me this way, or if you don't talk to me this way, whatever it is, just be clear in your communication so people know exactly what you're expecting. Number six, be quick to listen and slow to speak. We're so quick to answer and we really need to slow things down so that we really do listen with our heart. Remember, there's six inches that go from our ear to our heart. And if we can listen with our heart, that's going to make all the difference in terms of how we react and respond to other people and they feel that we're really with them. Number seven, say what you mean without saying it mean. I know sometimes we get angry and it's normal. Anger is a, a normal part of our lives. I know that we all feel anger and emotions are neither right or wrong. They just are. But again, it's how we express that anger. If we are mean, that's going to build up a wall between us and the other person. So it's much better to say things in a kind and loving way. Never go to sleep while angry. The Bible says, do not let the sun go down upon your anger. So always make sure that you're right with people before you go to sleep because otherwise it will affect your sleep and that's not good. That's not gonna help you or anyone else. Number nine, we should never borrow trouble by taking up someone else's offense. Everyone has their own work to do and it's important that you allow them to do that. And if somebody's upset about something, they have to work that out themselves and it's important to let them do that. And number 10, maybe one of the most important is don't gossip, create a no gossip spin zone because it's never a good idea to talk about someone who is not present in the room to defend themselves. You know, we might have issues with other people, but we need to be able to speak to them di directly. So those are Goldie's 10 life coaching tips for healthy communication. Enjoy and put them into practice.